Hey guys, it's Jonah from Cartridge Blast Gamers, and I'm here to talk about the fact that we didn't have a podcast this week. Uh, for those of you who realized, thanks for watching. And for everyone else, start watching, please. Well, we'll be back next week. Uh, this week was just a bit crazy with circumstances mixing with uh, the Halloween uh, the Halloween season. It, it was Tuesday was is the day we uh, is the day we record, and Tuesday is also Halloween, so trick or treating for everybody. Uh, anyway, I just want to make a little vlog to make up for that. I'm just talking about stuff I'm playing right now and and stuff that I'm excited for for this month. And I think a lot of you guys are playing what I'm playing right now, Mario Odyssey. I love this game. I I haven't been this into a Mario game since Mario 64. And Mario Odyssey is super similar to Mario 64. It's got the same move set, the long jump, the the backflip, everything. And they just added the the infinite roll, which is which is really fun to do, especially especially in the Desert Kingdom or Sand Kingdom, was it? Anyway, the this game is just I just I just I'm not having beat the game yet. The story, I, I got up to the Metro Kingdom, and Metro Kingdom is fantastic. I can I can see why it's like the flagship world. It's it's like the one that Nintendo was promoting the for the for the month leading up to the game's release because that is that is the best world in this game. Like all the other worlds are fantastic. Also, they're colorful. They're they're, they're filled with stuff to do. But they're they're just like regular Mario levels you're, you that you would expect in a Mario game, but Mar Metro World was fantastic, and that whole the whole uh, Donkey Kong Easter egg level, it, it was it was just so fun. Oh God, and that song's really catchy too. I don't want us to give it any more spoilers, but that's uh that was just just play the game. It's really it's really great, and uh, so I I'm. It's, this is one of those games. It has so many moons, so many moons, and I I don't usually complete things, but I, I just really want to get every moon before I move on. But I have to force myself to play the to play the actual game and then come back later for all the moons. It's it's this is this game is gonna end up on my top ten list at the end of the year. I don't know what at what place, but definitely in the top half. Maybe maybe number two. I don't know. Maybe number one. It's it's all iffy. I have a ton of games I love this year, uh, like uh, Neo, Persona Five, Near. The this one I think I liked better than those three, and those three were like locks for like top three spot. So I don't know. I'll, I'll have to think about that a little bit more. Now uh, speaking of coming up games, <laughs> which I wasn't speaking of, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are coming out this month. And I actually wasn't excited for this these games these games in the Pokemon series just because it was it looks so similar to Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I I was thinking on just not getting it. But they released a whole bunch of stuff that I noticed. Maybe they've released it a long time ago, but uh, I I just wasn't paying attention. Sun and Moon, it's Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It's got Team Rock Rainbow Rocket. First of all, I thought the name was kind of dumb at first. And then I then I started thinking, hey, Giovanni's back, so that's gonna be cool, right? This team is comprised of of all the bosses, all the evil guys in Pokemon games, from from Archie and the other guy that's not Archie. Uh, what was his name, Maxi? Yeah, and to, to I don't know, Team Plasma's guys. There, I don't remember their names, but they're cool. Uh, they're all working under Giovanni, who's the boss. And that's that oh, that by itself is hype. You can get every legendary Pokemon in this game, and oh God, I'm I'm excited for it now. Like I I was I was cold on it before. Like when they announced it in the direct, I was I was like okay, I don't I don't really care. I played Sun and Moon a lot. That's I think that's the game I played most out of any Pokemon game. I really liked it, but I think I'm thinking I'm gonna get it. It's gonna be amazing. So that's that's coming up. I'm gonna play that. Hopefully I can beat Mario Odyssey before that point. I don't think I'll get all the moons. I think it's like 999. I don't think I'll get all the moons before that point. So I'm still going to be playing that afterwards. God, I love Mario Odyssey. Uh, so I, I was, we're sorry that we, we didn't get a podcast out this week. And I hope I hope you guys had a fantastic Halloween. And keep, uh, keep watching us for the podcast next week because it's going to be there. Okay, this is Jonah from Cartridge Blast Gamers signing out.